So this video is going to go over the bones of the leg as well as the os coxa or the hip bone. So we'll start with the os coxa, which is this bone here. And you can see that it is an irregularly shaped bone, okay? And together, it's actually three bones fused together. Um, so the whole thing together is the os coxa. And then this flange here is the ilium. And you can see here, there's a flat spot. Okay, you can see that flat spot there. So we're gonna go to the back part here, which is the ischium. And then this part that has the flat spot is the pubic bone or the pubis. So we have the whole bone is the os coxa. We have the ilium, the ischium, and the pubic bone. So those are three bones that were fused together. And then we have a couple of parts on this bone. We have the acetabulum, which is a socket for the head of the femur to attach. And then this hole is the obturator foramen. And in order to tell if this is right or left, I tell students, you find your pubic bone, you know that's going to be in the front. It's gonna to be towards the front of the body. Okay, this part of the bone, you don't need to know this, so I'm not gonna to talk to you about what it's called but this is a bumpy part. It actually articulates with the sacrum. So this is the back of the bone. This is the front of the bone with this bumpy part here. And if the pubis is coming out to the front, you put this bumpy part by your belly button and then you know it's that side, okay? So this, this bone is actually a left, okay? And this is kind of how it would sit. And there would be another one that kind of cupped around like this, okay? so. That's the os coxa. The next bone, which is too big to fit in this camera view, but this is the femur. Okay, at the top of the femur, you have a couple of markings that you need to know. This is the head. This part that looks like it's kind of hooking out, or hooking in rather, is the greater trochanter. This bump here is the lesser trochanter. So we have the head the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter. And then down here, we have the patellar surface. Okay, notice the difference between the patellar surface and the back of the bone. This is the front or the anterior side, and this is the patellar surface. And the patella fits there, okay? And of course, this is the patella. Remember, that's a sesamoid bone. Okay, nothing exciting about that. This is the, one of the bones of the lower leg, and I'll get this one first. This is the tibia. And um, remember the femur, what I just went over, was the thigh bone. This is one of the lower leg bones. You have two bones in the lower leg, um, this being the tibia. Um, in the front of the tibia, you have the crest, okay? And what I tell students to try to figure out, because there's several pointy things on this bone um, that stick out, so find the tibial tuberosity, which is right below your kneecap. You find that tib tibial tuberosity and follow it straight down and you have the crest. Okay, so this is the proximal end of the bone and we go all the way down to the distal end and we can see this lateral, I'm sorry, the medial malleolus. Okay, the medial malleolus, this piece that's hanging down makes up your inner ankle, your medial ankle. So this is your medial malleolus. So again, this is the tibia, what you need to know on this is the crest and the medial malleolus. Also, you need to know which is right and left. So if this is medial and this is anterior, then this would be a right tibia, because this would be on the inside. The next bone is the fibula. And the only thing you need to know about the fibula is that this end here is the lateral malleolus and that makes up your outer ankle okay and i will cover the foot real quick as well okay this is the foot okay again all of these collectively are the tarsals of the tarsals you have to know two specific ones the talus which is on top and the calcaneus which is the big one these are the metatarsals you have one each, one, two, three, four, and five, and then you have your phalanges. Two phalanges in your big toe and three each in each of the other 
phalanges. Okay, so that is the foot. Thanks for listening.